Hey, before I begin this vlog, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications, and most importantly, I'm running two contests right now. One, for this $50 gift card, the link is in the description how to win that. We've only got three more days. August 11th is when this expires, and then, the $100 gift card is for anyone who sends me mail to the P.O. box, which that P.O. box is down below. So you got through August 31st to send something, anything you want, to the P.O. box down below, and you're automatically entered to win this. So 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Good luck. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yep, you got it. Two days in a row that I'm updating because Monday, before it's, uh, what time is it? It's Monday at 3.10 p.m. if you can see that. And uh, I've got my vlog uploaded for Monday, and wouldn't you know it, we have our trail boss here. So we're one of the first people in the country to have trail bosses on our lot. As I said in yesterday's video, and I apologize if I'm winded, our Subaru store is way over there, and somebody told me that uh, these cars were here, and I literally sprinted all the way over here because I like to walk over there and back because we have Humana here, and we have... Uh, the go 360 app so it gives me free money from them so i literally sprinted all the way over here um in dress shoes so um but hey i'm gonna let this guy get this stuff unloaded we are going to get that black one and that black one let me see if there's anything else on here i don't think we have anything else how many of these are we getting all of them we're getting all of them so uh we have four five vehicles coming in so we got five of these vehicles in total as you saw from the truck driver earlier and i'm going to focus more on this white trail boss back here and i believe i showed you the window sticker on that one or on the black one i can't remember they're both the same vehicles outside the exterior color uh, these other three here are lt models and rst models so um, if you want to see pertinent and specific information on these vehicles throw it in the comments below because i will go into great detail on this and i know one of the things that i'm going to do some more research on before i do a video on everybody's like you can't put camper mirrors on here they don't like where they put this at um, i think i've got some information based off of some preliminary stuff that i've been looking at on these trucks and i will come up with that in a later video so i'm going to start uh actually kind of more in the back here i kind of pointed this out and i'm recording this the next day after the transport truck guy got here so I've had about 24 hours with these vehicles and uh, I've put in about 10 or 15 miles on this particular truck here uh, but one thing that I've never seen in pictures is this right here this is really cool so you can kind of see that there and maybe you've seen it I certainly have not and then also in one of my, my one ton truck video the blue one I was kind of showing you the uh, lights those are now LED they've repositioned the lights back here I really like this I'll get into a black a dark area on a future video and kind of show how well these lights are i anticipate that they're going to go do really really well um, you have what looks like to be two cameras back here a lot of people are going to think this is a camera this is actually in fact a light this is your backup camera it does three different things it's going to show you the typical backup it's going to show you the trailer line and then also straight down on the bottom so you're asking why is there a light back here so this light back here is going to be for if you're messing with the trailer hitch at night it's going to be a perfect light and it's super bright when i had them on on the daylight earlier today um, i was like wow that's impressive so um, a lot bigger foot wells than what we've had in the past um, I need to do some uh, more video and more listening to that exhaust sound. I think they uh, did a little bit of a fail on that exhaust tips, but it still looks good integrated into that bumper. And then this is something I absolutely love. Just one simple touch and down it comes. Now, not to mention that this is, I'm doing this one handed, one finger close. Very, very simple. But they also have that on the key fob click it two times voila now i know this isn't a new invention i know ford's done it for a while um but uh nonetheless that's pretty cool so uh this one's got the spray in bed liner the new chevy tech bed liner uh one interesting thing is this is not a sprayed in bed liner right here this is actually on all of the trucks you can see that kind of lifts up right there it's kind of like a normal uh drop-in bed liner where this is sprayed not sure exactly the reason to do that and to kind of come over here to this white one this is an lt z71 truck you can see that that truck has got that on the bed as well so as you know this right here 
nice strong steel this back here aluminum kind of hear how chintzy that sounds how nice and strong and sturdy that sounds so um this uh coming back here not unlocked oh yeah it is unlocked so this coming back here i'm not sure if they did that because uh this is an aluminum uh bed all the way around that doesn't sound aluminum maybe it is but the outside skin i know definitely is aluminum 100 for that so uh that's the one thing i thought that's kind of really really unique uh this being an rst you have the black door handles that not being or excuse me trail boss uh has the black door handles uh that being an lt you have white handles and of course now we have all the keyless access technology here which luckily i have the key fob on me coming to the back here um really nice inlay wood trim so again trail boss really nice uh the seats back here this is a really cool feature so you have the feature right there showing the some storage right there it does not lock it'd be really cool uh to lock because if you got a sidearm or a pistol you could throw it in there and it's kind of out of sight out of mind and somebody does break into your truck and then you have this come up like so and you have uh storage right here as well so you can throw some things in there and keep them and then one cool thing is we do have a uh semi-flat floor so now Ford's always kind of tout we've got a flat floor floor and and i'm glad we don't have a flat floor because the reason why is when you come under here and you look you can see all of our expensive materials i mean it's like a seven thousand dollar exhaust system it's all above the the rail of the truck so that's why we've never had a flat floor and then of course new technology we got usb c back here we got normal usb and then we have a 12 volt outlet so also i did forget to say uh down here we have a 120 volt outlet right there you turn that on the inside of the vehicle and one really cool thing that i like about this new uh bed is we have three tie downs on each side and then you have two three up there as well uh different positions they've widened this out they've made this really really narrow right here so it gives you the most cargo box that you possibly could have uh back here uh, again great feature and of course with the uh factory bow tie uh with the factory spray and bed liner you get that bow tie back there too which is really cool also i'm gonna skip around here just a little bit we're gonna go to the front and uh absolutely love the new lights and that just locked because i have the uh, automatic locking set up so the new lights are really really awesome up here now one thing that i don't think anybody's ever shown at least not that i've seen is the carbon fiber trim in there do you see that that is sweet i like the little details now obviously it's not real carbon fiber um, but it does look like carbon fiber same with right here same with right here absolutely awesome and then this is kind of cut to a carbon fiber up there as well so uh really great details here uh on this and uh you know being that's a trail boss you have the red tow hooks and i'll show these daytime running lights uh here in a second but they come right here and that is sweet as well as promised i will show you the daytime running lights here they're led absolutely beautiful and he also turned on the fog lights uh that i do believe are led i think they're led i don't want to say the wrong things they look like projector beams as well with that circle but uh, there is a, a diode up there so that i'm pretty sure that that is a uh led light so you can kind of see that from the side right there and uh, i'll do a night video and show you how bright these lights are because we have these lights on our traverse uh premier and high country and i'll tell you those suckers are bright so i'll do a night video and show you those coming on the inside uh typical power windows here they're automatic for the drivers and then you have the power mirrors right there um really cool setup here is we have the four-wheel drive system is push button still uh we've had that for a long long time auto four-wheel drive two-wheel high four-wheel high four-wheel low and then this is your trailer tow mode which is new for us because we have always typically put it right here so that's definitely a new spot i actually was messing with that earlier and i hit this right here and i'm like oops it's not there anymore and then this is a sport mode so you can click that that way and that's sport mode and then this is your fog lights this is your don't the bed lights back there and then this is the plus and minus to make these lights brighter and dimmer here automatic lights and then electronic parking brake so no more parking brake down here one big improvement that i love about this is the fact because i'm in these vehicles all the time right so i'm always changing something so this may be something that just bothers me i don't know um but uh in our old vehicles we had 
the tilt steering wheel here and we had another lever right here for our telescoping so they have changed that there one lot one knob up and down right there lock that back into place and you're good to go so this being a trail boss you have the power seat all the way down here you have the center console there it's big cup holders there big cup holders there uh nice large area up front here i was just talking to one of my friends meredith and she doesn't like the premier tahoe because she loses all that storage in front of the top and front of the cup holder which i understand and agree 100 percent. so it's nice to have all that storage there you still have the storage down there as well more wood trim right there you have trailer brake controller there another USB-C, a USB, 12 volt outlet, and then you have a 110 outlet there as well. Coming inside the center console, SD card, USB-C, USB, aux input, uh, which is nice. And then you have a light right there so you can see in there. And that's pretty doggone deep right there. So really, really nice there as well. One other cool improvement that I really like is the design of the steering wheel here. Very similar to what we have in a lot of our other vehicles. Uh, one thing that confused me at first was I was trying to push this thinking that um, this is a push button here, um, but it's not push button here. It's just maybe like a touch sensitive. Well, it's not. You actually uh, sit here and uh, roll this. You can see the driver information center rolling there, which brings me up to right there that is sweet this tells you what your brake pad life is um, now one thing that they're doing on these brake pads and they've done for a number of years which i made a video on this four or five years ago uh, probably back in 14 or 13 i did a video on this um, was that uh, they have the dura life brake rotors so um so the likelihood of you having to turn rotors or replace rotors on this truck is highly unlikely uh they'll last at least two times longer than what they're traditionally uh see on previous generations of trucks so now they're telling you what your brake pad life is also they're telling you what your air filter life is so those are two really cool features that i again i don't think has been out there uh, see typical tire pressures oil life fuel range distance uh, that we've driven we got 22 miles on the vehicle now uh, and then back to the speed so over here we got music which we're in demo mode we got navigation we got phone and then we got all sorts of settings so you can come in here which I haven't even messed with this so I don't even know if there's something missing uh, that I don't have in here it looks like they got everything on there uh, with no problem speed warnings you can do speed warnings you got software information all that good stuff there as well most of the time you're gonna have it on that eye right there so you have the digital speed uh, does have the auto stop feature told you in the past not a big fan I wasn't sure if they were gonna have this they do I can do that and I can shut that off every time so now a big question that people have asked do I have to push that every time so let's let's find out I haven't tried this yet I'm literally trying it right now we'll shut the door we'll start it We'll see what happens. Auto start, I believe, is on. I believe that light means it's on. We'll hit this at the same time. Auto stop off. So, yes, you do have to hit it off. I don't believe I have messed with settings up here. Um, I don't believe there's anything in the settings up here uh, with uh, stuff like that. So, I did mess with settings, which we'll go over this radio on another video. This radio is very uh, intuitive. It's a, it's a step, uh, it's a level two radio uh, on here. Of course, you got 4G LTE, which is nice that they've got the signals there. Uh, they're telling you the GPS is working, all that stuff. Notifications are working, all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to hit right over here before we hit to the center of the vehicle. We got the uh, heated steering wheel there, cruise control here, kind of the same thing on off right there. This is a cancel button, set coast, resume, excel, windshield wipers. Uh, this is a new one for me. So um, you have to hit the button there to hit the windshield wiper fluid. So if you want to do it one time, you just hit it down once. Oops, what did I do there? Oh, I do this. Oop, there we go. See, new truck, all new stuff. I hadn't done that yet. So just one time, rotate it like that, and it does it. And of course, you got your intermediate. Oops, see, I'm screwing that all up. Intermediate, low, and high right there. As you see, those are rotating, and that goes to the off. So the uh, turn signals right there, they're showing up right there. It's kind of a new spot for them. Uh, bright lights, flash to pass. So if you're pissed off at somebody, you want to flash them, that's it. Push forward, keeps them on all the time. Coming back to the uh, center console. Uh, pretty traditional, uh, what we see on a lot of things is the dual climate control driver passenger over here. We got the heated seats here. Uh, all your, everywhere where you want it to go as far as out the vents or at the feet or defrost or whatever the case may be. Uh, and then come up in here to the radio 
I kind of mentioned this earlier um, that we have our camera settings. So we have a couple different cameras. We have uh, the traditional camera where when you're turning that it shows that. We have the trailer hitch camera, uh, which comes down here. Oh, excuse me, trailer hitch camera that here shows here. So this shows you where your ball is in the line. So if you need to come up and say that, say your trailer is that wheel over there, just turn that like that and it's gonna back right up to it. And then this is looking down straight at your ball. So uh, if you're wanting to back up to the line, like say in a garage door or a garage area or parking spot or whatever, you can change that to that as well. But that's the most common one uh, that you'll see. So that's kind of nice to have. Um, also, whoops, I wanna come back here to the camera again. Also what's cool is if you look down here, we have several buttons right here. This is your hill descent control. This is your auto shut auto stop shut off right there. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, this turns your plug on in the bed, so that can be powered up there. This is your traction control, your typical hazards, and then this one right here allows you to put the tailgate down. So there you go, it's going down real nice and slow. So very cool that you can do that from the interior of the truck as well. Um, as I mentioned before, we have the level two uh, radio in here. So uh, pretty nice setup. You got your AM, you got your XM, uh, FM there, uh, HD radio, which is nice. We're gonna go hit to the back button here. We got phone, so you can pair your phone as well. Oops, I pushed it sideways. So you can connect your phone very, very quickly. Uh, you can see our contacts and all that good stuff. Uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, so you can set that all up. Um, and then users. So this is something I wanted to figure out on the first time that I sell one of these. Um, but I do, I have read up on this a little bit, but basically you can create profiles for select for certain drivers. So uh, I'm not sure if it reads off the key, which I'd assume it does, um, but uh, we can create profiles. You can sign in and things happen that way so uh, this car is in demo mode right now so we don't have it also what's really cool is they have a trailering uh, guide in here and they have a lot of checklists so if you're doing a fifth wheel uh, or a gooseneck or anything like that which is kind of interesting because you're not supposed to tow a gooseneck or a fifth wheel with a crew cab short box Silverado but they have a checklist in here. So I gotta do a little bit of research on that as well uh, to see if you can tow with a gooseneck or fifth wheel on this truck and see if they've changed that from the past. But conventional, we're gonna touch on that. So it's really cool. So some basic stuff, if you don't trailer a whole lot, it tells you, hey, make sure your safety chains are in place. You can say, check, I did it. My jack is stowed properly, check. So you can do that. Uh, we'll come down the bottom. The brake, uh, the brake gain, mirrors adjusted, stuff like that. So what's really cool is it kind of tells you what each one of these are. So now if I were to hit this X, this actually comes back to the main screen there. So this is kind of a status telling you what's going on, um, all that good stuff. So I'll have to get a trailer out and uh, you know kind of play with that as well uh, so I can report back how that works as well. Of course, we got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on all of that also. So as I shared in the last vlog, this is a $55,005 MSRP truck. So uh, a lot of people are like, holy crap, salespeople is what I'm saying too, of an LT truck for $55,000. So like I've said in the past, you can't judge a book by its cover. You can't go off if you like a vehicle or dislike a vehicle by uh, the uh, pictures and stuff like that. And what I've came up with, looking at this truck, uh, being straightforward as you know I am, uh, this truck, uh, is set up like a base LTZ. So um, a base LTZ is gonna be in that 50 range or so, and then you got the, the, the Trail Boss stuff on top of that. So this vehicle actually even has a power reverse or power sliding window in the back, which is something that's standard on a LTZ truck and kind of optional on an LT truck, but it's kind of rare as well because once you start adding uh, bucket seats like this one has and, and the spout power sliding window you might as well go to an LTZ anyway so um, heated seats and leather and all that stuff I mean like I said this is a base uh, LTZ truck when you get to this uh, trim level I think last couple things I'm going to show in this video and uh, definitely if this is the first time that you're viewing my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, and that bell notification so you can see future updates uh, on these silver autos uh, I'm, I'm a huge product knowledge nut. I try to figure out everything I can on these vehicles um, and whatnot, but you got the low upper and lower glove box like we did last time. I just kind of showed you that power folding or power sliding. I don't know why I'm saying folding, but power sliding uh, rear window. 
And then you also have home link garage door up here as well. And I do believe the only thing I haven't showed you on this truck is under the hood. So um, one thing that I see that they improved, approved on, I don't know if it's an approve or not, is right here. This is plastic. I don't know about that. It's bolted on to a metal piece right here. They probably saved two cents uh, per truck. So, you know, that's plastic. Um, we'll see how it goes in the winter time and stuff like that. It, it seems to be pretty chintzy. Um, I don't know, but we'll see down the road. And then the air box uh, intake is right here. So the so air comes in here somehow. I've kind of played with it a little bit and I'm not exactly sure how that works. I'm not sure if all the air comes in this way and then when you look in here it's kind of all vented right here you can see that's all vented if the air comes up this way and then gets sucked in over here because you can see this is sealed right here and maybe enough wind comes up here because you can see that there's right there and we go right over here it's blocked off right there so there's no air coming in this way so it's really unique do a little bit more research there and then also this is kind of all vented up here as well so i don't know if that has anything to do with it but certainly i would think if wind and air uh, is coming up here that it would come up there now the theory behind that is this is cold air here right so there's no hot air it's not getting to the engine stuff like that um, and if it is coming over here tunneling in there and then being sucked in there you know we have kind of like cold air intake stuff like that so um one thing i've noticed there's no transmission dipstick i don't see a transmission dipstick so again more information coming for that uh this is a really cool feature so people who jump start cars all the time i.e dealers uh that's really neat that's there this is like a, a metal uh uh post it's not even really a post it's just a th thin piece of metal so that's kind of interesting uh rather than us taking those red knobs off and stuff like that so the battery is located here uh, no more uh two position battery so that's kind of interesting and it'll be interesting to see what they do on the three quarter ton and one ton trucks uh for next year what they're doing up here because usually um if you go to a, a current generation uh vehicle uh, we have two battery positions available to us, but there's no two pos battery positions here. Uh, but this is much easier to get to. So the old generation had a bar coming across here. We could never get to the negative battery terminal. So that is a huge improvement for anybody who jump starts the car or stuff like that. Like I said, we do it all the time. So engine oil dipstick right here. It's all electric power steering, so there's no power steering pump. You fill the uh, Dexos there, and that's into the new Zero W20. Uh, coolant there brake fluid there windshield wiper fluid there outside that uh, i'm gonna look at maintenance schedules i haven't looked at those yet but very uh likely that this is gonna be extremely low maintenance and you don't have to do anything so uh lastly really nice easy hood to close nothing crazy um you do want to be careful because this is aluminum hood so you know i'm not sure exactly how to close this yet i think probably do it like that give it a good tug because you definitely don't want to put your hands up here uh, because you'll dent it because it's an aluminum hood and as ford knows um you know getting dents out of aluminum is very tough so the only aluminum we have on this vehicle is right here you can hear that you can hear that strong metal this is aluminum this is aluminum this is strong metal and then this right here is aluminum and of course the bed back here big strong uh, metal box back here and uh i'll have to get the tape measure out i think that's a lot, lot wider than four feet right there uh also and also a huge improvement that we've always had uh over the fours we don't have any big bolts coming through here so there are uh the bed is uh nicely done uh again no no big bolts they got these big carriage bolts that's set up here um and really just get in the way of everything mulch and stone and stuff like that so it's nice to have that uh there as well so to end this video i want to share you some good comparisons uh this is an lt with cloth so the cloth is a really nice cloth i don't think it's going to stain really easy it's really nice and tight so it's going to hold up well uh, we do have this has got the center console in it so you do have a couple nice big cup holders you have nice big storage in here you have the usb and uh the usb c up there the 12 volt outlet and then this would be where uh, on the upper models where the uh, 120 volt outlet would go so um one really interesting thing is we have that third seat and now they have put a shoulder belt in there rather just than the lap belt so we also have 
storage underneath. We have upper, upper and lower glove boxes. And then when you do go to this, it does appear um, that you do lose a couple USB ports, which is sad uh, because USB ports are extremely important in everybody's life. There's, they're not in here, they're not in here, not up there. So uh, again, have to do a little bit more searching uh, to see if I'm not missing anything and I'll report that down the road uh, if I do make that mistake. So everything on the LT uh, trim level is really the same as what I just shared here with you on the Trail Boss. Storage on both seats. These lay down, child safety seat anchors is what those are. Um, and you do have the USB ports back here. You just have two regular USB ports and a 12 volt outlet uh, where you have the USB-C on the Trail Boss. And then you have the rear vents back here as well. So that is pretty much the overview and hopefully more information than anybody has ever done on these vehicles. I really, obviously you guys know, I get so much feedback in this and I'm a really detail oriented person and I love watching my videos um, because I think I have a different aspect from it is showing videos uh, to people who are actually buying them. And um, in my career, I've never talked about price with people. I've always showed value and showed cool things about cars and showed things that, you know, that I personally like and finding out what, what you like and helping you out and making a good informed decision on purchasing a car even if it's not my car um, you know I'm not a, I'm not an idiot if you like hey I like this car because it's got these features or that features hey I get it not a, not a big deal uh, in my world I'm here to help so um, that's pretty much it in the video if you want to see more things about the Silverado smash that thumbs up button leave a comment down below and then also make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell notification so I want to thank you so much this is a long video so hopefully you got a lot out of it so thank you again so much for watching have a fantastic day and drive safely.